السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students at Faculty of Commerce English section This is section 2 And we will have uh, supply and uh, the law of supply And uh, the change in supply, change in quantity supplied And the equilibrium First, we will have the law of supplies Law of supply states that Quantity supplied increases as price rises So as price rises the supplier can supply more of quantity. There can be some exceptions, and we take some exceptions like in the demand. Supply curve shows the quantity that producers are willing to supply at each price. So at each price, supply curve shows what quantity supplied our producer is willing to supply at each price point this is price and this is quantity so if we take this point this point states that supplier can supply this quantity at that price when price go higher supplier can supply more The vertical height of the supply curve is the minimum amount of money suppliers are willing to accept. Of course, suppliers have costs that they have to cover, and by selling their goods, they can receive money that can cover their costs. The second thing is the change in quantity supplied, and what determines of quantity supplied are price of the commodity itself, prices of the factor of production, like production, technology, number of firms, expectation about the future. And we take four factors of production. Our factors of production were land, labor, capital and entrepreneurship these are four factors of production and for each factor of production we have price we have price for land is rent we have price for labor is wages we have price for capital it's called interest Entrepreneurship has its own price and it's called profit. So for each of this factor of production, we have price and the higher the prices of these factors of production, the lower the supply. Production technology. The more technology, the more quantity supplied. More number of firms equals more number of quantity supplied. Expectation about the future. If the price is going to get higher in the future, we at the moment we not supply more. We supply in the future. If the price is going to decrease in the future, we at the moment supply more. Have more quantity supply. Movement along the supply curve means change in quantity. But change in supply is meaning shifting. Shifting in the supply curve is a change in any factors that determine of quantity supplied neither than the price. So the change in the price mean movement along the supply curve mean change in quantity. But change in supply means change in prices of the factor of production, change in, in production technology, change in number of firms, and expectation about the future. So this is the difference between change in supply and change in quantity supplied. As we state, as we state in the supply curve, Supply curve is shown as that way, price on the vertical axis, quantity supplied in the x-axis, and we have at each point 
quantity supplied is increasing because price is increasing. So supply curve is upwarding, upwarding slope shape. So supply curve takes a upwarding slope shape. When we have the supply curve of more than producer, we have the market supply curve. We have the market supply curve. When a certain conditions are met, we can drive market supply curve by summing up individual firm supply curves horizontally. So the supply curve of the market is the summation of supply curve of supplier A plus supply curve of supplier B plus supplier curve of supplier C. Supply A plus supplier B plus supplier C. And that equals the supply of the market at a certain price that is 15 per unit. And we have the submission of all these quantities is 12 plus 14 plus 17 equal 43. This is the total quantity of supply at a certain price. When we talk about price elasticity of supply and elasticity as we take in demand, it's a change in quantity over a change in price. So elasticity of supply is change in quantity supplied over quantity supplied over change in price over price. There is two extreme cases or two exceptional cases. There's a vertical supply curve and this is the vertical supply curve This is the vertical supply curve, and the elasticity of the vertical supply curve is zero. But the elasticity of the horizontal supply curve is infinite. That means smaller change in price make larger and extremely and infinitely change in quantity but when we change the price when we have zero system of supply there is no change in quantity We have other factors that affect the elasticity of supply. Additional cost that accompanies an increase in production. So additional cost means change or increasing in production. If additional cost doesn't increase fast, the elasticity will be large. How easy it would be for a firm to switch to the production of other commodities. At some times, the supplier see that there is another goods or another commodities is higher profitability. So how it's easy for him to switch to the production to other commodities, it depends if elasticity will be large, it will be easy. If the elasticity is small, it will be harder for him. And the length time period and the length time period considered. Elasticity gets larger in the long run. So as the time frame is longer, there is higher elasticity. Equilibrium. And equilibrium, it means when demand and supply intersect in one point. So we have two opposing forces are offset exactly. The present state remains as it unless distributed by outer force. An equilibrium in the market is reached when demand and supply are equal to each other, equilibrium price and equilibrium quantity. So equilibrium price equals equilibrium quantity in the intersection of them, and it's called equilibrium point. So equilibrium point when we have like a price that is 15 and the quantity is 43. So here, Quantity supplied equal quantity demanded, and the price of supply equals the price of demand. And over there we have 
quantity supplied is larger than quantity demanded. So we have here excess of supply and over there we have excess of demand. Quantity demanded is larger than quantity supplied is less than quantity demanded. So here we have excess of supply and the excess of supply is to quantity supplied is larger than quantity demanded. But here we have quantity demanded is larger than quantity supplied because it's related to price. As we see in the demand curve or the demand law, we state that the higher the prices, the lower the, the quantity demanded. And the lower the prices, the higher the quantity demanded. And here we will have lower prices, quantity is demanded is 58 and the quantity supplied is 30 due to supply law that states that the higher the prices, the higher the quantity supplied, the lower the prices, the lower the quantity supplied. So we here have excess of demand and it's also called shortage. Shortage here is equal 58 minus 30. That's equal 28. Here we have excess of supply because price is higher than equilibrium. And here the quantity supplied is equal to 58. Content demanded is equal to 30. So have excess of supply and it's also called surplus. So over there we have surplus. Over here we have shortage. At the equilibrium point we have neither than shortage or surplus. As we state there is a change in supply and change in demand, we also have a change in equilibrium. And the change in equilibrium, when we move the supply curve and the demand curve, or only one of them. An increase in demand for ice cream, as we state in our case, price goes up and the amount of transaction also goes up. So we have higher quantity and we have higher prices. A decrease in the supply price goes up and the amount of transaction goes down. So we have an increase in the demand, a decrease in the supply, and we stated in the graph, change in equilibrium. Over here, we have a change in demand. We have increasing in demand due to any factors. And here we have change in supply and change in supply to shift to the left so quantity supplied is less and price go up here quantity demanded is high and the price goes up this is the equilibrium and the changing demand and supply we also have something called price ceiling a price floor and we will have so much information in the next sections about these two concepts. Price ceiling, when government regulates that the price of a certain commodity can go above a given level, there is a side effects for sure like shortage and the black market. Price floor, government regulates that the price of a certain commodity can go below a given level like the minimum wage regulation. We have a problem of excess supply and we have here problem of excess demand, which called shortage. And next section, we will have some revision about these concepts and have we set the price ceiling and price floor, consumer surplus and producer surplus. Thanks for your attention.